Well, I'll go see if we can find some wind turbine blades. It's a little walk. Pretty sure they're in a shed. I'm gonna have on the other side of the property. It'll turn me back on when I get there. It's my big long driveway here. Sheds are just to the right at the end of the trees. There's two of them. I think they're in this one though. I don't remember remodeling my place and I moved everything around so I'm just guessing they're in here. Size of that nest on this house. Empty. Huh. Where did I put them? Damn, this one over here. I don't think so. Just scrap wood in here, I think. I found them, here they are. All types of blades in here. Lots of them are no good. Like these I flew for a long time. But they ended up bending like this. Like the tip ratio bent down. They're just too long. And they end up bending over time. But they're still good to be made into smaller blades. I cut out a whole bunch of them. Lots of these are just the same type. But this is another set of those. These ones are really good. Nothing wrong with these. These ones can go right back onto a machine. They had lots of torque too, remember. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a good set. Three of those. You can see how they've been sharpened. Well, it's hard to see out here. use a lighter, heat it up and then just slice it with a razor knife. Which ones I should grab? I know these are no good. The angle's just no good on them. See at the tip it's almost flat. And then once the wind puts pressure on them for a few days they just they end up going like this. They become completely useless. You can see here, here's one that broke actually. One of the big monster blades we made. Well, I guess I'll take this one in and make it into a useful blade. Make a video out of it. I know there's three of these. I made three of every one.
how I have it all traced out. The tips fly the blades, so this is your best design. That's what all my turbines fly with now. And another key to making your wind turbines go faster, you can see here, this is the 90 degree angle, straight out from the hub. But if you angle them forward like this, it takes advantage of the air that's moving out towards the tip of the blades from the center. So it's not much of an angle. When I put them on the hub, I'll, I'll tell you guys what it is. Or if I can find my protractor, I'll, I'll take a measurement here. Doesn't look like much. I don't know, maybe 15 degrees forward or so. I've tried all different angles. I have a template made out so it's easy just to take the blades off the machine, put them on the template, measure out another degree, put them right back up. I had a machine made just for that. I did that for over two years. Angling them forward definitely makes a difference. These scoops help a lot too. If you have really long blades that are made for a high tip speed, I'd put those on. Like if I make some good long wood wooden blades, I think I will use the scoops like this, even if I have to bolt them on, because they help lots with your torque. Here's the blade cut. Keeping your tips square like that keeps your blades quiet. They'll make them pointed. The tips are what fly the blades. Tips are the most important. And keeping them steady. And see that's the angle. This line here. That's the angle I'm mounted. If I use these blades, I'm just making these blades for a video. These are the same type of barrels as the big blue oil barrels, 55 gallon. Just cut square right from the bottom. This goes up to the second rib. See, here's the first rib. Next, I'll carve it. This side here, I'll shave down where my thumb is. The tips will be pointed, shaved on this side right here, to so about from here to this side. And then this will be sharpened up. It'll be so sharp, I'll be able to cut myself with them. This side here will be all sharp, all the way down, right to the bottom. The problem with these blades is every part of the barrel is a little thicker or thinner than the other parts. So no matter how precise you measure and cut your blades, they're going to weigh a little bit different. So you have to have something really frictionless to mount your whole hub on and everything to balance them or you can do like what Steve Robertson does is hang them from the center of the hub and balance it that way that's probably about the best way you can see Steve Robertson's video how he does it I just have a hub that's made already and it just slides off of one machine onto the other. Like I could take it off the hub and put it right onto my wind turbine so it's easy to balance. It's really frictionless too. I've been able to get them really balanced like that. So this is all I do here. Sharpen up these tips. 
and do the whole blade like this. Good. pretty easy. This side isn't as important as this side is. That's all I do. I'll be back when I'm done. Here I'm done now. See this, uh, this is all shaved down here. Really hard to see this side here shaved down. It's a little shaved all the way down here. even better like that maybe all the way up to here this side here it's up to here this side's not as important but on these rib parts here try not to shave any at all that's the weak link part I've flown these blades same type of blade like this for over 10 years I've only broke them a couple times because of ice build up on them. They work good for high voltage machines where you don't want to put out a lot of amps, but you want them to spin fast. Things are perfect for that. 20 inches long. Seven and a half, I think. About that. You can see how it tapers down. Tip on it is three inches. inch and a half like this on the two and a half when you're at using a barrel too you have to make it go out like this that's how you make your angle as you can see how it works if you were to go straight out like this it wouldn't have that shape that you need for your blade. And like I said, mounting them a bit forward helps lots. And that's it. They're very strong blades. Way better than PVC pipe. First pipe blades I've ever made were out of PVC pipe.
they didn't even last two days in my wooden situation here. These blades last minus 40 degrees Celsius and 50 mile an hour winds all the time. Tonight we're having some wicked winds and they're working fine for me.